Hey guys, welcome to another update. Um, yeah, I'll take it out for a ride. Uh, runs quite well, considering it only has a front brake. Like you can see, I've been chewing through a lot of that disc. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can get my new brakes in soon. Uh, the way I set it up, uh, for testing anyway, I have the dongle off the, um, the motor right there. And then it comes up to here, which I soldered directly to a controller. Uh, literally wrapped copper around the joints and then um, fused it together with solder uh, just so they don't pull apart and everything is pretty much hardwired including the phase wires I got it sitting in there surprisingly it works well in there it doesn't hit my feet just the wires do I'll tuck those in but uh, I think that's where that controller is going to stay as you can see sorry about that I kind of dropped the phone <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so um, what I'm finding is when I get, well, it, it, right now it has like super torque, like it does feel like a, a dirt bike. Um, the way it's set up, well, I wouldn't say it was I set it up, it's basically the way it is set up, is when I give it throttle, the first motor that kicks in is the rear, and that pulls like crazy, and that's only 500 watt at 30 amp. I can't imagine what that motor would be like with the uh, controller on the front, but that is, even for a 500 watt, that thing pulls. You can feel the difference between the um, the 9C and the the wider um, 9 Continent. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got, got all that done, and I took it up for a test with one brake, and that was not fun. <laughs> um, I still have to pick up a cluster. I don't want to ruin that, but I also had to take it out and test it, so uh, hopefully we can get the gears in soon. Yeah, so what I was saying about the um, the acceleration is the front kicks in first, then the, f uh, the back kicks in first, then the front. But the front, when it kicks in after the back, oh my god, there's a pull. This bike is insanely fast. I'm, I'm hoping to get a video in sh shortly, but like right now it's minus whatever, it's snowing again. Uh, two days ago it was like almost 30. Like it was, it was beautiful out. Anyway, uh, once everything warms up again, we'll take it out again, and uh, hopefully I can get a video. Uh, it's because it's a hoot. The only thing I have to do is maybe dish that over a little bit more on the chewing of the wheel. It's a little close. I don't want to add any more, um, I can't, actually I can't add any more washers t to here to bring the wheel over, because it's got to line up with the brake, obviously. Um, what I'm going to have to do is put it upside down, spend the day, and just slowly chew it until it's over more. It's not the first time that's this, hap this has happened. I mean, the rear of this frame isn't, isn't exactly square anyway, so I'm not surprised that it doesn't fit the way it, it fits the way it does. Because it is dished. Um, that's about it, guys. Now, like I said, this thing is a, it's a bit of a rocket. Uh, it's insanely fast. Like in the video, you will see, you will hear and feel, or you'll see it anyway, when the rear kicks in and then the front kicks in, because it's brutal. And the thing is, I don't even have that at full, like full power. I basically put it on, you know, I lowered everything because of the um, only having one brake. I didn't want to be flying down the street. So I hadn't even uh, opened up its potential yet. And I think it's crazy right now. <laughs> I mean, for a bike this long, it's it's crazy to be doing 60 on this thing. Because you know damn well, if someone pulls in front of you, you can't stop. <laughs> be like, crush. <laughs> so, anyway, I wanted to bring that up. It was actually quite easy to do. Uh, basically, lace the wheel. Uh, soldered, like I said, I soldered the, um, the dongle right to the controller. I'm not going to change anything there. Uh, this set up with the... Uh, High power on the front and low power in the back is more than efficient for for like. I, I, well, if I jumped off of the light, if I took off the light, I'd be the first to take off. I'd be like half a block down before they even start pulling out off, out of through the intersection. This thing is crazy. It's that crazy. It's just like it's a dart. <laughs> yeah, it just sucks that the weather is the way it is, or it'd be taken out right now. Anyway, take it easy. Um, I'm not gonna. I'll just go on and on and on about the bike. Hopefully, I can get some more parts in. Hopefully, I can get that with the brakes, and then we're done. 
and we are done. Uh, I'm not going to be doing another bike, just so you know. I'm done for bikes. This is my last bike. Um, I'm going to transition to a scooter style that I can fold up and bring it in the house, maybe modify that. But uh, I'm done with the bikes. It's been fun. Later, guys.